Hi, I'm Jason Hudson from Tenzig Technology, and today we're going to look at managing your Tenzig Windows 10 Thin clients using the built-in Tenzig User Utility. The Tenzig User Utility gives you the power to manage your device at a more granular level, and either open up or lock down the unit to suit your own personal needs and also business requirements. It is particularly useful for individuals who now find themselves working from home and need to open up the device to features that might once have been limited in the office workspace. Let's boot my Tenzig Windows 10 client and see what the user utility looks like and what we can do with it. Now that we're logged in, if we click the start menu and then all programs, you'll see the menu option Tenzig Lock or Unlock User Utility at the top of the list. If I click this, then the user utility will open up and we can see all the features displayed that we are able to switch on or off depending on our specific requirements. Now we're going to give our thin client user the ability to make their own changes once they actually log in. That way we give them the control and freedom to manage their device without the system admin and support teams constantly getting involved to enable something simple such as access to their Wi-Fi settings or letting them connect to their home office printer. Next to the allow user change button in the bottom left of the screen, if you click the drop down list, you can see all the available users that we can grant access to their own user utility. I'm going to select thin client user from the list and then click the allow user change button. You'll be asked if you want to allow access to that particular user, so click yes. You'll then be notified that the user now has access to the user utility, but needs to log in before they can run and then action any user utility features inside the application. Click OK and then close the application. I'm going to log out now and then log in as Thin Client User. And see what we can do with our Tenzig user utility inside there. Now that I'm logged in as Thin Client User, I'll navigate to the Start menu, All Programs, and then select the Tenzig Lock or Unlock User Utility menu option again. If you see the User Account control message appear, then just click Yes to allow the Thin Client User to run this app. If the administrator doesn't give permanent user utility access to the Thin Client User, then every time they come to run it from the start menu, they'll be prompted for the administrator password as shown here. So the best solution is to let the administrator grant access once and your thin client user won't have to contact the support team again to gain access each time they want to modify a local setting. Notice that once thin client user is given access to the user utility, that we have some of the features enabled, whereas before all options were disabled. It's important to note that when managing an individual setting that you understand what enabling or disabling it actually does. If you read the description, then this makes the switch activity a bit clearer to understand. For example, where you have something like no start menu network places and set it to disabled, this actually means that you do have network places on the start menu. Let's take a look at some of the main features that are now switched on and functions available to us from a configuration point of view. Let's take a look at the network settings just in case we need to connect to our home Wi-Fi or cable directly into this router for example. The network properties were previously locked out, but now we have access and can change the adapter settings because we have given Thin Client User access to change user properties. Here are several ways you can gain access to these options. We can go to Start menu, PC settings in the right hand menu, select Network and Internet, and then Show Available Networks. You can also click the notification area in the bottom right of the screen and the network option and you'll be able to access the settings through there also. 
At the moment, the system tray contains no items. So let's open the user utility and then unlock it so we can see what is available in there for us. Inside the utility, select the No System Tray Items option and then click the Disable button in the lower right. You'll see the message Disable System Tray is now unlocked. Click OK and then answer Yes to the reboot question. Now the device has booted up, we can see that the network icon has now appeared. And if we click this, we can gain access to the network settings, where we can add any new adapters or join the local office or home Wi-Fi router, for example. While I'm in here, also notice that we have access to the volume icon, so we can control the audio levels. and also that the hidden icons are available to us in the system tray. Let's run the user utility again and switch a few more of the options and I'll explain where and how they can be useful. Once inside the utility again, we can see the item named no find and see that it's set to enabled meaning that we can't search Windows for any of our documents or applications using the Windows key and S. If I go into Start menu, Windows Ease of Access, and then On-Screen Keyboard, I'll click to hold down the Windows key, and then click S. Notice that nothing happens just yet and no search box is displayed. Let's close the on-screen keyboard and set this item to disabled and then do a quick restart to show you that it's now enabled and we'll search for an application and launch it. Now that the device is rebooted, I'll just bring up the on-screen keyboard again Click Windows key and S, and notice that the search box appears. I'm going to search for my notepad application and launch that. OK, let's close this and look at setting a common explorer function on. By default, ThinkLiant user has the right click context menus disabled. Right click context menus are very useful as they enable you to perform specific and quick tasks to an explorer entity such as a file, application, shortcuts, printers and also the local desktop. For example, I might right click on a text file and click print or right click an application and want to run it as the administrator of the Tenzig device. If I select my Google Chrome icon and then right click it, nothing happens. And if I right click my desktop, where you'd normally expect to see the display settings and personalize options in the drop down menu, nothing appears. Let's go into the user utility and make these available to us and then restart and show you what we have available. We need to scroll down to the no view context menu in the list. and click the Disable button again. Click OK and answer Yes to the reboot question. Once the client has booted back up again, I'll right click on the Google Chrome icon and notice that the context menu appears. And if I right click my Tenzig desktop, you can see that I have quick access into my display and personalization settings. At the start of the video, I mentioned that we'd show you how to make your local disk drives visible and also give you full access to their content. This is particularly useful when you need to use a portable drive for local backups, saving content to removable USB devices, and also for installing any new software you recently downloaded.
It's okay being able to download, install the file content, but if you can't access or see the drives, then you won't be able to run or install them. Let's open the utility again, and then click the Lock Unlock Drives button. At the moment, the Access Drives and View Drive status are both set to Hide Drive C from both Access and Navigation. For the purpose of the demo, we're going to allow access to all drives on this thin client. We do this by scrolling down the list of drives in the access list and then tick the access all drives option and then click the change button. Click OK but answer no to the reboot question as we want to switch the view on all drives first before we reboot the device. Notice that we now have a status update in the box above, telling us that we have access to all drives once we reboot the unit. Let's scroll down the View Drives list box and then tick the View All Drives option. And once again, click the Change button next to it. Click OK on the notification, and this time, answer Yes to the reboot question and wait for the client to boot back up again. Once the client has rebooted successfully, if we click the Start menu, All Programs, Windows System, and File Explorer, then an Explorer window opens up and we can see that the C drive is available to us. If I double click it, notice that this also opens and we can navigate the whole drive if we want to. I'll just plug in a USB key and wait a few moments and we can see that this also appears and can be navigated too. Before we wrap up this demonstration, I'll just take you on a brief tour of the Thin Client User Start menu, just so you know what is already in there that you can take advantage of to customize your devices. If we go into Start menu and All Programs again, you have a selection of folders that begin with the word Windows. Let's see what's behind some of these. Windows Administrative Tools holds the commonly found admin tools within Control Panel. You can access the registry, task scheduler, monitor performance and administer local application services from within this area, amongst other things. However, to make sure that you can manage most of the admin tasks in here, you need to have been given access to the user utility by the administrator as we showed you at the beginning of the video. Otherwise, some of these areas will contain restrictions and even be prohibited from access altogether. If we go back to all programs and into Windows System, you can see that we have access to a command prompt, control panel, and the task manager too. To gain access to the task manager and the run window, you need to go back into the user utility and switch some of the settings to disabled. I'll show you how. You need to set the item named No Run to be disabled. And then scroll down to the item named Disable Task Manager and set this to be disabled also. Once we're happy with this, we click the reboot button. And when the device starts up and we go into start menu, you'll see that we now have a run dialog. And if we click it and type in control space printers, hit enter, then the devices and printers folder will open up to us. Let's go back into the start menu. Windows system again and click task manager and we get access to tasks and performance monitors. This concludes today's demonstration on managing your Tenzig Windows 10 Thin clients using the built-in Tenzig user utility. It gives you a head start in being able to further tweak your end users environment and also gives them the freedom they need to be able to self-manage some of the simpler things that are sometimes out of reach with a lockdown device.
I hope you enjoyed the session and remember if you have any questions regarding this or related topics then please contact your Tenzig team or visit the website at www.tenzig.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.